H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. When clicking this button without adding first name, I should get an alert message. Please add first name. If I am uh, okay. clicking the button without adding last name, one alert for last name. Email, one alert for okay. email. That is how we can yeah. uh, create the validation. Now if for this you should give the ids okay to check the values id equal to f name for this id equal to l name for this id equal to uh, email now where f name equal to document dot get element by id of f name so once i click the button whatever value i have entered in this input field will come and save in f name variable so the same has to be done for the l name and email also l name and email l name So what we have to change is the value, whatever value a user enter, that value has to come and save in this. So for all this we should add the value property. Now let me check if f name is equal to equal to undefined. alert please enter your first name when I run this without adding I should get an alert message so I am not getting it so let me check why it is go to the sources have some breakpoint here Let me have a breakpoint here. Let me have a breakpoint here. When I submit, I am coming here. F name is an empty string. Acha, okay. So I need to check if it is empty. Please enter the first name. This process, I think you might have come across. This process is called you know debugging, and you know by placing breakpoints we can stop the program up to that point of level so so that yeah. if any error is occurs you know we have to go line by line we have to read if any errors are there or not so to make sure uh, error free coding this should be a regular practice step by step we have to go by help of these breakpoints okay that we will be discussing in our coming sessions in detail that's not a problem but as of now just try to understand what is validation how validation comes and uh, in this validation the whatever the variables functions capturing the values if else conditions this each and every part I am going to explain you in detail so this is an overview that's it okay okay now if I am uh, clicking the button without giving any value I am getting an alert message saying that please enter first name okay now I have entered first name but I have entered first name but last name is not entered so it, it, it means what happens if first name is entered else if L name equal to equal to empty string then I would like to show the message of 
प्लीज सेंटर लास्ट में लास्ट नेम आल्सो आई हैव एंटर्ड देन एल सिफ ईमेल इक्वल टू इक्वल टू एम टी देन आई शुड एबल टू सेच सी इफ फर्स्ट नेम इज नॉट एंटर इट विल कम इनसाइड दिस इफ सेकंड नेम इज नॉट एंटर इट विल कम हियर If, if last name is not entered, uh, email is not entered, it will come here. If all these three conditions are met, so it means you have successfully entered the data. In that case, what I have to do is else alert welcome place. First name, place, last name. So if I if I am not entering anything, let me remove the breakpoints. If I am not entering anything, I am getting a help message. Please enter first name. I have entered first name. So it is asking please enter last name. So I entered last name. Then it is asking, acha, this I have not changed. <coughs> Email. refresh so this is it is alerting it is giving an alert message of welcome muriya krishna it's captured first name and last name this is out Make okay. the validation. Yeah. Normally, what we will do is, if all these three conditions are met, in this particular place, we will send the data to the server. That is how. That is how we we will uh, do the validation of any HTML forms. Okay. Bhavesh, clear? Bhavesh, can you hear me? अंकित साहब क्लियर ग्रेट ओके ओके नाउ सो दिस इज व्हाट जावास्क्रिप्ट कैन डू फॉर अस नाउ लेट अस गो टू द नेक्स्ट लाइन व्हाट इज एंड वेयर टू प्लेस ओके वेयर टू प्लेस द जावास्क्रिप्ट इन सम programs in some places you might have seen this entire script tag would have been in the head section like this now i have placed the uh, entire code in head section but the problem what we are going to face is while this particular block of code is running while this script code is running it doesn't know what is meant by my heading uh what is what is meant by this heading this and all it doesn't know means when this place it is running when this place it is reading the program it doesn't know what is is going to come afterwards what is this heading let me show you in detail so when i run this can you see this error message cannot read property read of open shield of null line number 33 the reason it doesn't know 
what is this document body body is null for it hmm. because body not it started right when the script is running here when the script is running okay. here after script runs complete after a script uh, completes the running then only the body is starting okay so that is the reason we used to keep our script at the bottom of the document so technically it is not wrong placing okay. a script tag in the head section but practically there will be some errors because our dom means a complete document object model a complete uh, head section body section and all other elements won't be available for us won't be available for us when the script tag is working in the head section so we should wait enter html get loaded then we should start initiating the script tag that should be the correct procedure but if you place your script tag in the head section it is not going to be possible so it is always advisable try to have your script tag just before closing of your body tag okay in interview they may ask you uh, what kind of precautions i should take to increase the page loading time at the time of discussion you can mention a point saying like this first i will do all the uh, first what i will do is i will shift entire scripts at the uh, end of the body let okay. uh, let the entire html portion and css portion load load first then let my script start executing yeah. that should be the correct procedure could you repeat the question once again how can you improve the page loading how can you improve the page loading okay yeah how can you improve the page loading or you know they may ask you in tricky question what might have been the uh, reasons for the low page okay. what is what might have been the obstructions for the page performance okay. you know web performance how they can they can uh, say you no know, they can what do you call it, tricky question they can do like anything but the meaning is what will be the reason okay. so we can able to manage it straight forward question and answer it is okay. one of the answer i am not telling all the answers one of the answer can be uh, what do you call can be mentioned over there is shifting of entire scripts it may be the framework or it may be the library files because what happens okay. sometimes the scripts all depend the scripts will get data from the other servers okay which will be asynchronous requests so okay sometimes we were forced to wait to get the data from the other servers okay what i mean to say in html you have some pictures you have some content you have some information you have some uh, static data which you can show immediately okay plus you are going to say get data from other servers also that is also you are getting in one part of time in another portion but apart okay. from that you have some hard coded data also is there for you so yeah. if you place your script tags enter script tag in the head section if any one script line is broken means entire page loading will get stopped okay so by shifting all the script lines to the end of the body section what you are making assure is uh, let at least the oh, script for that yeah just at least whatever the content you are having let it open let user go through the content meanwhile i will go and fetch the information from the other server or mirrors whatever you can handle that exceptions okay so it is always advisable to have a script tag script tag at the bottom tag i am talking about only javascript when it comes to jquery okay. the scenario could be different when it comes to angular the scenario could be different okay bavesh are you there Ankit bhai yes sir clear sir so far yes clear sir okay yeah uh, i am not uh, finding those uh, josh which i used to see previously ankit no i mean i'm listening but like right now i'm observing it's been a minute like that <laughs> I... 
I went through this. So no, I'm very when... much familiar with that uh, Ankit who used to fight always with his girlfriend. Now I think the silence I am not able to tolerate. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. It's all good, man. I'm in, I'm in here. I'm in here. I'm 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 observing everything. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Now let us go to the next topic. Okay. What is this? External JavaScript and internal JavaScript, embedded JavaScript. Okay. So far, what we have did here is, so far what we have did here is, it is an internal. You are play, you are playing this code. You are you are placing your script code in HTML document only. You have not created any external JavaScript file, and you have not uh, uh, used that. So this is called internal JavaScript. What I can do is now I, I have I can cut this document and let me create a new JavaScript file. Let me paste it here. So let me save sample one dot js and I have not added this as of now. So let me check without JavaScript what is going to happen for our HTML document. So if you see nothing will work. What happens? I have not saved it seems. Okay, I have not saved it here. Save. So when I click this button, nothing is going to work because it doesn't aware what this add function is and where it is, right? So now what I can do is I can add this document like this script and source this sample one touches if you, if you run once again I think everything is set now I can get the alert message my JavaScript is ready to go so I can create an external JavaScript profile and I can attach to the my document Okay, Ankit. Yeah. Does that need, uh, does the script need to be added towards the bottom too, or could it could that be added to the top? It can be. See, that's what we have discussed so far. Uh, adding in the head section is not technically wrong. Adding in the head section is not technically wrong, but practically, if I add this script in the head section, what happens when? It is trying to execute this line number, uh, what do you call it, uh, 25, 26, 27, which it is trying to access the body element. So when it is in head section, that moment of time, there is no body exist. Okay. So that is the reason. If you are playing around with JavaScript, try to place your JavaScript code always at the bottom of the uh, document. Got it. Yeah. jQuery path. Don't worry. You can play around with that. You can place it anywhere. Doesn't make any problem. Angular. Same. You can play around with that. Anywhere you can place it. There won't be any problem at all because it has been handled. The code code has been already well handled about it. You know whether it may be because the jQuery is going to start. The first line of jQuery indicates that. It has to start executing when document is ready. Dollar document dot ready means you have to start your uh, functionality. You have to start your initiation after the DOM is ready. So it is already handled properly in JavaScript, jQuery and Angular. While uh, while handling JavaScript, make sure that let all our script tag at the end of our body section. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay. In this also, let me tell you one more point. In this also, if you have only one function, if nothing is there, if you have only one function, and uh, if uh, and this function won't work until you invoke, right? This I have created a function here. It won't work until I call that function. 
so if you have only some kind of functions in your javascript that moment of time if you place your code at the script code at the head section then it won't be any problem because this will work if you see now there is no error set on all because in now in my code there is no script script which will execute automatically now whenever i call this function then only this particular block of code will work otherwise it won't work so this kind of code if i am having in javascript file i can place it anywhere but if i have some javascript file which will automatically run those kind of files i should not have in the body section pavan garu artham avutunda any confusion artham avutunda clear clear yeah sir atlane i mean interview questions ko chepte ikkada mem process ko untane okay okay that we will do later So yeah. just now we have started integration right anyway we will start building the application that point of time yeah. i will mention you see straight away telling interview questions that doesn't make help any help you know if yeah, i am on topic wise step onto both the questions yeah. bound to them yes, yes yes if i am coming to that particular point of a topic you know that particular section yeah that moment of time this portion of the uh, code can be discussed can be questioned like this and it can be answered like this this might have been the reason if i can able to elaborate yeah. i think it will properly get injected to your mind instead of you know just boycotting the questions yeah. yes no so this point you understood right get by so if i have uh, any code which is automatically running like this so it will automatically run it won't wait until i call this because i have straight away called you know uh i am trying to access the body element straight away it is not inside a function it is not inside a function it is directly going to attack my body so which where the body doesn't exist at all that moment of time if i place my script code at the head section definitely i will be having a problem so that point of time i should have this script code at the bottom of the body clear yeah no let me go to the next slide okay 